Welcome to Pinder Kinder. I am Mrs. Pinder and I love to teach kinder and first grade and second grade and pre-K and preschool. I want to thank all the big brothers and sisters out there. Yes, I see you. You are being so helpful. Your grown-ups are so glad you are here to help your little brothers and sisters. Way to go! I also want to say awesome job to the preschoolers. Did you know there are some two-year-olds and three-year-olds out there? Do you know what they are doing? They are singing. They are drawing and labeling and counting and doing math. They are learning with us. So we are all here together. Remember, all are welcome at Pinder Kinder. Let's start the way we always do with the friend song. You are getting super good at it. Do you remember? Hook your fingers. Friends, friends, one, two, three. All my friends are here with me. You're my friend. You're my friend. You're my friend. You're my friend. Friends, friends, one, two, three. All my friends are here with me. Great job. Now, remember I told you yesterday the boys are going to sing this all by themselves. And I know I have some friends out there who know all the words. Adrian, you know the words. Kingston, you know the words. Rylan and Colin, are you here? You know the words. I bet Jefferson has learned all the words. So boys, you are going to sing this all by yourself. And girls, I'm a girl, we are going to do the sign language. And we can move our mouths and sing super quietly. Okay, but boys, I want you to sing loudly. Okay, ready? Girls, I know you really wanted to sing, but that's okay. You can practice later. You could practice singing by yourself, or you can practice singing together. Because remember, it's a little bit different. We're not at school, but we're still learning. Today, our friends at Scholastic, they've got a good one. Are you ready? We are learning about dun da da Earth and space. Do you love it? Oh, Avery's excited. Colson and Layton are excited. Oh my goodness, Megan's excited. Woo! Yes. So if you go to the link below and go to Scholastic, you can read some books about Earth and space. There's a fiction book. Again, it's one that I've been reading for years and years. It is called Happy Birthday Moon, and it has a bear in it. And this bear is trying to find out when is the moon's birthday. If you click on it, it will read the book to you. And if you love it, Frank Ash, he's the author and the illustrator, he's written other books with bear in that book. There is also a book called The Moon. You can learn real facts about the moon. It also has a glossary, so you can find out some new science words. Are you so excited? Okay, you figured it out. Today, we're going to learn about space. You're already thinking about space. You did it. You're thinking about space. Do you know what that's called? I'm going to teach you a big word. It's called activating your schema. What's already in your brain is your schema. 
just a big word. And so, you know, now when we learn, you're going to remember more information. Before we start thinking too much about space, let's sing a song. This is called an oldie but a goodie, and I bet you all know it. It's about something that you see up in space at nighttime. When you go outside and you look at the night sky, what do you see? Hmm. I have some in my classroom because I love them. Stars. Do you know a song about stars? Oh, some of you know it. Whenever I say, what song should we sing? Someone always says, let's sing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Okay, big brothers and sisters, I need your help. Let's sing together. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. So great. I love that song. Do you know sometimes if I'm feeling nervous or scared, I like to sing a song. So I was thinking tonight, after you go to bed, maybe you're not quite asleep yet. So you know I have four children, Phoebe, Harvey, Max, and Gideon. And now they're big. But when they were little, sometimes I would put them to bed and then they would call me. And I was like, what do you need? You've already had a drink. You've already had books read to you. You've already had us sing you songs, but they still wanted to see us. So I was thinking tonight, if you're in bed and you're like, I'm not asleep yet. We're done everything. My mom and my parents aren't here right now. Maybe you could sing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. That would be a good thing, and it could make you happy, and then you might get sleepy and go right to sleep. Try it. Let me know how it works out. So I was thinking about space, and I was wondering, when you go outside at night with your grown-up, what do you see in the sky? Okay, that's one. We were talking about it. You see the moon. Now, when I look at the moon in the night sky, it does not look like this. It usually looks more like this. I don't know what the moon looks like right now. Tonight, I'm going to go out and look at it. Maybe you want to go out and look at the moon tonight. You might see the moon. So we see the moon when we look up in the sky at night. What else do we see? We just sang about it. We see stars. We see stars in the sky at night. So we see the moon. We see stars. That's right. Sometimes there are clouds. And when there are clouds in the sky at night, it's hard to see anything. So maybe if you go out and it's very dark, there's a lot of clouds. Yes, yes, sometimes when you go out at night in the sky, you might see airplanes. Or if you're really lucky, you might see a rocket. Do you love rockets? Rockets are cool. I live down here in Texas and we have a place they make rockets. They're awesome. Astronauts work there. So today I thought, let's make a rocket. We've been getting really good at drawing things. Today we're going to make something. We're going to do a craft. Do you love crafts? I love crafts. My mom and I used to do crafts. And then I used to do crafts with my kids. I love to do crafts with my students at my school building. And so let's do a craft at Pinder Kinder. You need something. Do you know what this is? You have one. I know you do. Now, if you don't have one right now or you don't have it today, just watch. And then you can come back to this video later and you can make a craft. We are going to use this 
to make a rocket. What is this? Yes, it's a toilet paper tube. <laughs> I know, it's funny. It's just funny thinking about toilet paper. So it used to have toilet paper on it. Everyone in my house used all the toilet paper, and then I saved this tube to make a craft. So you can ask your grown-ups, excuse me, can we save that tube? Save a couple because there's a lot of things you can do with these tubes. Also, maybe you have a big one. This is from Paper Towels. Have you ever seen one of these? Yes, yes, you've seen one. So toilet paper or paper towel. Today I'm going to use a toilet paper tube. It's small. And we're going to turn this into a rocket ship. Okay, you can do it. And then you need some crayons or markers. You can take a crayon and you can color this any color you want or a marker. I'm going to use blue. I was thinking blue. And I don't have time to color the whole thing now, so I'm going to skip that step. But you could color your toilet paper tube any color you want, lots of colors. What color do you want to color your rocket? Oh, good colors. Excellent. Then you can use a crayon or a marker. I'm going to use a marker. My favorite markers are at school. That's okay. I found another one. I like this marker. And I'm going to draw some windows on my rocket. And these windows are circles. So if there were astronauts in the rocket, they want to look out. And they want to see the moon and the stars and all the amazing things in space. And I'm going to draw two circles on the other side. Remember, we don't do perfect at Pinderkinder. We just do our best. So I drew some windows. And then I thought this rocket needs some stripes. I'm going to lay this down and I'm going to draw around. If you are making your rocket, maybe you want to pause this video. That's OK. I'll wait for you. You know I'm always here. So I did a stripe. You could add anything. You could add stickers if you have them. You could add stars, squiggles. I'll show you another one later. But this is the one I have so far. Windows, a stripe. What else does a rocket need? Oh, yes. It needs a pointy top so it can shoot into space as fast as possible. Now, this part is a little tricky. You might need a grown-up to help you. You might need some scissors. I only have my big scissors. Maybe you have little scissors. And you might need some glue or some tape. And then you are going to make a circle. That circle looks good. You know I cannot draw circles that good. But guess what I used? A glass. Yes, at the Pinder house, we have giant glasses because my kids are big and they drink a lot of milk and a lot of water. So I laid the glass down and I traced it. Dun, dun, dun. And now I'm going to cut it out. Do you know I have a scissor poem? Some of you know, yes, thumb on top. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Give a little snip, snip, snip. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them. Clip, clip, clip. Circle, and then cut a line. Maybe you need a grown-up. No worries. Again, you can color this any way you want. And then curve it around. dun da da It kind of looks like a hat. I'm going to tape it. And then... This gets taped on the top of your rocket. This part was tricky. I got my son Gideon to help me because he's an artist and he's really helpful. Maybe you want some wings coming out the side of your rocket. I was using this one. And you're like, I don't have anything to make wings. Yes, you do. Do you eat cereal? My family eats cereal. I bought them Lucky Charms as a special treat. And you can cut wings out of a cereal box. 
cut a triangle. You can tape them on. Your rocket can look any way you want. But here's one that Gideon and I made. He's big, but he helped me. He's very helpful. Now presenting Mrs. Pinder's rocket. Ta -da -da! Toilet paper tube, cereal box, piece of paper, some tape, a little bit of glue. Do you think you can make one? Yes! Don't give up. Don't get frustrated. Maybe you want to make a rocket. Yes! Way to go! I'm going to put my rocket right over here. And I think you will make one too. If you make one, maybe you want to send me a picture. I would love to see it. So let's do a little math before we go. For math, we're going to subitize. What? Let's say it together. Subitize. When you subitize, you know the amount of something without even counting. You've done it before. Yes. Yes, you have. Have you ever rolled a dice? Do you know how many dots are on this dice? Five! Five dots! You didn't even have to count it because you subitized. Even your grown-ups know. Okay, ready? Boom! Six. You know that in your brain. That's called subitizing. We're going to subitize a few stars. Don't worry. We'll do this again another day. Get your brains ready. How many stars do you see? Yes! Three stars! Let's count to check. One, two, three. You didn't even need to count them. Okay, here's three stars. How many stars? Ah! Yes! Four stars! How many stars? One star, way to go. So subitizing is knowing how many, the amount of something without even counting. Counting's okay too. Maybe some of my preschoolers want to count, but older kids, I want you to start subitizing. And if you have a game at your house that has a die or dice in it, go get it. Maybe you want to play it later today. Ready for a joke? Okay, did you practice telling your grown-up a joke? Remember, you first say, hey, do you want to hear a joke? Okay, you can keep practicing that. Here's the joke of the day. Why did the cow go in the spaceship? Practice reading it with me. Ready? Why did the cow go in the spaceship? So funny. Do you know why? So your grown up will say, I don't know. Why did the cow go in the spaceship? <laughs> Get ready. Oh, some of you started figuring it out. It wanted to see the moon. <laughs> Get it? Cow's moo? Moon? Oh, so funny. I hope you tell your joke to someone and they will laugh and it'll be fun. Touch your elbow. Skidamarinkadinkadink, skidamarinkadoo. I love you. Skidamarinkadinkadink, skidamarinkadoo. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. So skidamarinkadinkadink, skidamarinkadoo. I love you and you and all of you. Hugs from Mrs. Pinder. I'll see you tomorrow right here at Pinder Kinder.